Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell. And yes, the hits keep coming with this new Midnight Suns game. I'm very excited about it. And we got a cool image today from Ryan Stegman, the Venom artist that we were talking about for a couple years now uh, on the Venom blog. And he did this amazing cover that wraps around for the new Game Informer magazine. So I'll have that up there so you can see it. Uh, Ryan Stegman did the art and Guru FX did the colors for it. And it looks awesome. And in fact, I, I think I'm subscribed to these in physical copy. So hopefully one of these shows up in the mail at some point for me. Um, but if not, I'll try to track one down online because I'd love to just have that cover. It's really, really nice. You obviously have Iron Man, uh, the Hunter, or at least the, the version of the Hunter that's in the, the cinematic trailer and stuff, because obviously you can customize that character and make her look um, however you want. You can make a, her a him or however you want to do it, uh, as far as I know. So that's pretty cool that she's fully customizable, but they did stick with a, a specific design, I guess, just for like certain scenes or cinematics or trailers and stuff like that, uh, which is fine. Um, so then you have her there, you have Ghost Rider um, to one side of her and Wolverine on the other and Blade down front, which is really cool. And on the back cover, you actually have Doctor Strange, you have Nico, Captain Marvel, Captain America, and Magic. Uh, so yeah, really cool, really great art by Ryan Stegman, obviously a, a tremendous artist, and uh, and probably to me my favorite thing about the Venom run that, that was uh, that Donny Cates wrote um, was the was Ryan Stegman's art. I, I love Ryan Stegman. I loved his uh, work on Scarlet Spider. And I've loved his stuff over the years. He did a Wolverine book for a while as well. So it's cool seeing him draw all these characters because I don't know if he's drawn some of these characters. Like, I, at least to my knowledge, I don't know if he's ever drawn Robbie Reyes or Magic before. But then again, like, I'm, I don't know for sure. But it's just that I was trying to think of, like, have I seen him draw these characters before? And I don't, some of them I don't think he has. But this design that they have, these new Magic, um, you know, encrusted armors and stuff that they have with the gold and black, it's great looking. It looks great in comic book style. And hopefully they release a comic book that ties in, you know, to this game. And if so, I hope Ryan Stegman is available to do the covers because I really like his art uh, with these characters. And obviously we still have three more characters to reveal. So it just shows you how much planning goes into marketing and everything like that. Because I saw people complaining, you know, like, oh, we don't have gameplay footage. Why is everyone getting so excited? It's like, yeah, it's called marketing. They, you know, they did an event. They had a limited amount of time at this event. So they figured... We'll share like a one minute interview and the trailer and then we'll do our own event where we get all the hits and clicks and all that stuff and uh, put stuff on our YouTube channels and all that. So we'll do the gameplay later to build up anticipation for it because uh, it's funny. Always people are like, well, I didn't get what I wanted. You know, I didn't get the trailer and gameplay. So obviously this game is going to be a train wreck. It's I just love the mentality of stupid people. <laughs> it's like. Pay, wait, wait, like this is how they're marketing it. This is how they're, you know, sp uh, spreading things out. They revealed this cover for Game Informer. Like it's marketing is a science for sure. And it doesn't always go well for, you know, obviously, but it that's that's kind of the risk. That's the thing you got to do is you got to take chances. Sometimes you got to figure out who you're going to target one day and who you're going to target the next day. And OK, we got a, a music video trailer for people who are YouTubers to react to. So that'll kind of get the word out there and help us spread it really fast. Then we got magazine and, you know, stuff and artwork coming out for the comic book fans. Um, then we'll have the gameplay footage for the hardcore gamers who are on the fence of this game based off the first trailer. So it's it's all those things that uh, that they're doing that they're working on uh, that's part of the marketing campaign and stuff so it's just funny to me like when I see people lose their mind because they didn't get what they wanted when they wanted it um, to make their decision and it's like uh, you can chill out it's cool it's not that big of a deal um, they'll reveal stuff when they're ready and I'm looking forward to seeing the gameplay footage of this on Wednesday September 1st and uh, you can bet that I will definitely have a video up later that night because I'll be working that day so later that night I'll react to the footage and get a video out to you guys as soon as possible on Wednesday um, but it'll probably be Wednesday night most likely so let me know what you think of this artwork I'm very pumped uh, you know to just see the Ryan Stegman's art drawing these characters all together like this it's really really cool and uh, and there is an article for Game Informer that just kind of hints a little bit more of some of the details of the game how it's not really exactly like XCOM it's not going to be like an XCOM clone or it's not like an XCOM style game with Marvel skin on it they said there will be a difference and you'll see all that more when the gameplay footage hits on Wednesday so we'll talk more about that we'll talk more about the potential story boss fights because uh, I am curious if we're going to get any cool boss fights in it um, all that stuff how you upgrade the Abbey which is your headquarters 
We'll get into all that after the gameplay footage, uh, but I don't want to like spam too much uh, on this game right now. I want to see more information and sit back and wait and see how things come in so I can structure what kind of videos I make for you all. But this was just a really quick one, one last video to get up before the gameplay footage drops in a few days. So let me know what you think of this image and what you thought of the trailer and what your expectations are overall in the game, who you think the other three characters will be. Do you think we'll see them on Wednesday or you think they're going to pepper them out? I feel like they'll pepper them out. Again, it's a marketing thing, um, but we'll, we'll see. I can't wait to see what they show us on Wednesday, though. I'm very excited for that. So thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in hell. Peace.